Howdy. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be using pictures and bits of video here and there to show the one of the more final stages of remodeling my man cave, which is constantly reaching critical mass. And uh, I got a, a three drawer chest for some clothes and junk like that. And then Another one of the wire rack shelves here. Not quite as big as the last one to, to fit in the corner over here once I get rid of those boxed up racing buckets. The reclining racing buckets like Fast and the Furious, gray and black. And uh, the Shaco drop, drop leaf table here. I'm going to put back together, sand down and refinish like I do my rifles for, for my wife to do her crafting on upstairs. So that'll work. It was, uh, it's dated 1921, but it's, it's got a, a burned in, uh, uh, label thing on the inside, uh, inside of the top from some, from some, uh, furniture company or other from way back when. I mean, it was from one of the ones in Old Illyria, that'd be interesting move things around here and finally get it set up to where I, I got room to get around the room and nice and open. A little bit more uh, feng shui. <laughs> so, let's get to it. Okay, well, I, I got to narrow this rack right here. It's a hair too wide for these rifles. I forget putting that Winchester 1250 on that one. So I get, get it narrowed a bit. Two inches on each side would do it. And I got some more in the corner over there, which you can kind of see how far they are. I can't even reach them. I put my collection of four CO2, vintage CO2 Crossmans over here on that real tree rack with a bunch of old Crossman pelts back into the 40s. And I got like five different 760s laying there. That's one Donnie gave me in front there. And a few more over there, including the Revelation and the 761XL right there. A couple of C's over there. 760C Pump Master. And the 95 stock, I'm just about done to put the, put the uh, Striker 1000X action over there in. And there's the stock off the 1000X with the Edge Vortex 25 residing in it now with a center point 3 to 9 by 40 AO with the German style mill dot. And there's the, the new Winchester down there. Well, it's a 2013, but it's a refurb, so I got a one year warranty. And. I gotta do some of that unholy mess there. I got those two reclining racing buckets in the big boxes back there. Six hundred bucks worth of seats. I'd, I'd get I'd let out the door for three hundred just to get rid of them. They've never been used. I need to room. Put a rack over there for that stuff over there. I want to get a butcher block table to put over here when I take the fermenter stand out of there for my beer making junk and put that over here. Without the table, I can basically have my vices and drill presses and stuff on a heavy butcher block table over there to, to where I do, do my pounding and junk like that. But and got she's out there working in the yard instead of helping me with these three five gun racks here, so I'll probably have to wind up doing that myself. And I can't even stand up straight. Oh well, proving once again that shit happens. They look good though. One, one sixty, Pell gun variant one. First year, model seventy. Seventy three saddle Pell, and the seven hundred Pell Master rolling block. Crossman's modern take on the old rolling block. 
it's the breech that does the rolling but hey and here's what that rack looks like now since I got the lever action model 99 co2 rifle there and I got the crossman's and that Winchester on on the those two racks on the wall over there it's a lot of 760 history there and here's the 66 AB on the top of 760 C on the bottom and three Daisy 1894 30 30s in the middle cowboy yay yay guns <laughs> and little three drawer dresser thing I got here put my clothes and junk in and I, the uh, display case they got me for my birthday with some goodies in there I've added to since then as I, I need another two or three of them cases to put it all in you'll see that in one of the final stages of putting this room back together and I got that rack that rack there as you you'll see uh, it's getting full of stuff already I need I need another one to make it all work okay getting the the man cave rearranged a bit here cleaned up and all of that that's where I wanted the gun butler to begin with with the two hot signs there the striker 1095 XS on the top and the edge 1000 X 25 vortex on the bottom there gotta do something with all that stuff there's the pistol and belt down there I get a plaque and maybe one of those deer hoof hook thingies to hang it on on the wall or something got the air conditioner and the heater over in the corner there out of the way got that chair out of here so I can just use that to prop my feet up on to sleep at night joints are so messed up I can't lay down anymore and I got that big clot of mess pigs mess cleaned up over there and over there oh yeah mm -hmm. how 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 <laughs> yeah that's uh let's see that's nine crossmans and one winchester 1250 xs in the middle or ws in the middle got this mess over here i gotta deal with yet yikes and if i play it right i can get one more of these smaller uh shelf rack thingies over against that beveled part of the wall right there I have two of these and i can get a lot more mess up off the floor but it's looking a lot better got a lot more room in here to move around the room doesn't look so small and cluttered just got to clean up this stuff here. I wish my brother had a car so he can come over here and get his Christmas presents. Got him an Optimus uh, 177. Real nice wood stock on that one. And a smaller box behind the microwave there full of different kind of pellets and oil and all that kind of junk. But it's getting there. Just glad I that, that got done what I could this weekend so far get everything where it should be or where I wanted it whatever okay here's a sign for the man cave my daughter made for me with a wood burner remember the three hours the light bulb goes off recognize resolve and relax Snoopy laying on his doghouse I still have to work on this last one sometimes when I'm working on something having a problem relaxing just ain't, ain't part of the deal it's pretty cool though okay this is what the ladies did to the man cave while I was in the hospital and rehab and here's 
what it looks like at the moment. Still got these reclining racing buckets I want to get rid of. 600 bucks for the seats all ditched for $300. They ain't never been used. And my collection of Crossman 760s. Original up there. And newer as we work our way down. Just still trying to I'm going to put another gun rack above the printer right there, too. And my daughter, a while back, made this sign for me out of a leftover piece of plywood. Left to right. Remember the three R's. Recognize, resolve, and relax. And there's Snoopy on his doghouse. Accentuating the word relax. And of course, there's Johan Peter next to my 30 year recognition thing from Ford. And that goes back a while. And two out of three of these pictures survived from Hollywood memories that took these pictures. So, Jim and Doc. I'll pick one of these, might even copy both of these in the, in the printer over here to uh, include with those cowboy pictures you wanted the three of us to do and, and post. Just got to find a pair of jeans or something I could wear and I don't have a have that vest, black leather vest anymore. I don't know what I did with it. And of course, I'll be using, or posing, I should say, with one of my five 1894 3030 daisies. And here is my uh, A frame gun rack, back where, where it was originally. Turns out I should have just left it there. There's the Sears Daisy before it was the 880 from it took the Sears contract two years to run out before Daisy could call it the 880 and market it herself. But again, it's uh, the forerunner to the 880. I have to look. It's a model 800 Sears Roebuck and Company. And it's got the gold on it, like the daisy in the middle over there, uh, 1894, Golden Boy. And, you know, second from the bottom there is the Crossman Model 99 I, I finished restoring. Too bad we don't have more, more light today, it's cloudy, so sorry about that. And below that is a Model 700. 22, 99 is a 22 as well, and the model, the model 70, above it, right there in 177, and my 160 Pell gun 22. That one's up around 730 feet per second now with the oh that tuned XP tuned valve. That made for the QB78 and all that. That that's copied from the third, like the third variant of the 160 here. And of course, on on the top in the gun, the. Oh, the gun rack, caddy, whatever. Is the one I've redubbed the Hot Sun Striker 1000XS. The S, it's 1000X Super Grade. 
so named from the, the top of the line model 70 right there I did the check ring and the the jeweled bolts and bolt probe and all that stuff and here is the 1000X stock original stock with the edge 25 vortex stuffed in it with a 3 to 9 by 40 3 to 9 by 40 center point and that's in the uh, the striker 1000 xs has the hammers 3 to 9 by 32 ao they're both aos with uh mill dot reticles when once i restored those co2 rifles there they sure look pretty the 700 rolling block on the bottom is all original it's a good enough shape all i do is clean it up beautiful rifle shoots hard and then it's and if i if i'm reading the numbers right that i did find that thing is at april 69 but the pell gun on top is like 55 56 so that's yeah, about the oldest one i've got right now the plastic bag there is the edge plastic stock i'm going to have that one masked and dipped in a real tree edge just like the 725 VTR in the back of the back of the stack there. I'm thinking about giving that one away in a contest or something on one of my one of my uh, Facebook air gun pages. I haven't made up my mind yet. But it's gonna be really cool when I get that done. You guys will love it. It ain't cheap either. The Remington cost 128 and change plus shipping to have it mask, specially masked and dipped. But here we are with basically what the uh, man cave looks like at the moment. And once again, those three racks, the, the three different groups of people bought me for my birthday. That turned out to be the same one. Well, that last, last and third one is going to go right there. I got no other place to put it. But I want to put some paintings across the top of that wall. Like they had at, at uh, what was it Luther's, the German restaurant in uh, New York. It was there for a hundred years. Luco's, Luco's, that was it the popular part of Manhattan when it still was where all the actors and everybody hung out and once again all of the 760s that's my original one I bought with paper route money on top there June 1970 and the one underneath of it is the 25th anniversary one that, 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 they just look really nice And the one on the bottom, the fifth one from the top, is the one from January 77 that Donnie Reed gave me. That thing is still in good shape with, with the period correct Weaver V22A scope on it. And we get down to the later ones down here with the, with the B's on the bottom. Those are both new old stock. And I got a a stack of mess I got a full with right there and what I wanted to put on top of there isn't that pile of junk that's my oh my beer brewing stand I put my five gallon fermenters on top of there covered up and I keep the room real cool so that the fermentation that creates heat doesn't get too high and mess up the beer but that's another story uh, so that's junk stacked up by the printer there, but I'll get this figured out in due time. I gotta figure out what to do with this pile of junk on the table here, so I can once I get that out of there, I can actually put my feet under the table while I'm working on guns there. And oh, there's a new Brownells shop apron I bought myself. Real nice 
canvasy sort of material with the straps that you cross behind your back and snap on either side of the apron. Another story there. But there's more than five rifles. So put most of them on a rack and then I'll have to well I don't know, I'll have to figure out something. My jump from the hospital and rehab there, I still gotta go through all of that. Ten pound dumbbell. I've been doing exercises, PT and OT persons had me doing in rehab. It's physical rehab, it's occupational therapy and physical therapy. Physical therapy is for, for your your you, your body. And not the occupational therapy was for getting around the kitchen or the basement or the garage or the car, you know. How you're gonna how you're gonna do that now? Like, I have to use a walker. That cane is out for the moment. I can't keep my balance with that thing and move around as fast as I can with the with, with my pimped up walker here. I gotta I gotta work on that. I had the, the scabbard right here for the. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting all the names of the thing. The, the monopod trigger stick. That's what I was thinking of. But anywho, that's what it looks like right now. So it's changed from what was at originally at the beginning of the video to what we see here. And I finally got the desk all the way in the corner there, so I got more room for all this other stuff to, you know, get everything around the edges of the room so you now can use the walker or a, a wheelchair or something and go right straight through to get out to go down the hall to the bathroom or the kitchen or the dining room or whatever. I like that. That is so cool. This big collection of 760s there is pretty representative sampling. That's 10 rifles. And another 10 between two racks over here and Gee, I don't know, they're all over the place. And then the 10 of them in the A-frame -ra rack right here. And uh, the die the 24D is in the middle. Right to the left of the Daisy 800. And now here's a view from from sitting at the desk I still have my uh, beer labels and coasters from around England and America and junk like that sitting there drill press and everything down there and got a lot of my junk down here the I got that bag with the uh, chronograph on the bottom there the ballistic chrono all the tools and junk there and right here I have all the dunges the unscented baby wipes I use for cleaning up with and junk I save the, the container because they're perfect little small dunnages with the snap lid so I can separate out my different calibers of pellets and small rifle parts and I also got scopes and glue guns and other checkering tools and all that kind of junk sitting up there and of course on top clamps and tapes and other various things I use for working on them and two of my three hats there's my DB books hat and that red and black uh, plaid old, old school kind of it's like a, it's like a 
fleece line hunting shirt. So it makes more like a CPO or something. Oh, towels and junk. Microwave. A little dresser there. I gotta get all that junk off the top. It's still a little rough around the edges. Still got stuff to clean here, but it's at least it's getting there. Okay, it's looks further away than it really is. But <laughs> blood trail there. That's in the bathroom. Must have bled out a pint of blood that Christmas Eve day when I my wounds on the back of my legs and stuff stuck to the chair, and I just about I bled out a pint. Get to the bathroom and reached for the knob and started to pass out and fall down in kind of like a slow motion train wreck. Where we had turned left out of the room there. But it looks better, and that's where, what counts. Okay, here's a slightly newer picture of what the, the, that end of the man cave looks like now, although I've cleaned it up and changed a couple things around since then. And a, a later shot of those racks with the 760s in it, including the C's on one side there and the Air 17 on the bottom. And I've got a third one of those kind of racks to go next to this one on the back wall above the printer and, you know, the back wall of the room, that is to say. So I'll get most of the guns up off the floor. Okay. Well, that's it for for this time, doing man cave modifications take a lot of time. Get the money for this and the money for that. And hanging up the gun racks and everything. So, good Lord willing, the creeks don't rise. We'll see you again. So keep your guns oiled and your powder dry. Show the logo.